Hi there everyone, welcome to another professorial video and today we are going to review the Logicool Logitech Z213 stereo speakers Well, I am in Japan now and for some reason they do not have Logitech brand here they call it Logicool but all the way it's the same, same Z213 stereo speakers So this, um, this is the package that it came in and we can see that it works with all your devices and it's rated at 7 watts but I guess the peak that it can produce peak performance it's like 14 watts okay here is the box and this is the back so you get controller which means a controller and base controller and means base controller with it and you get takai on kyoseino meaning uh, high high acoustic performance or something like that right good acoustic performance and this is the subwoofer I guess bottom firing subwoofer okay all right so that's it maybe we, we, I should get the cutter where did it? okay I got it all right so this is actually pretty uh, budget pair of stereo speakers but I am a student living in a dormitory so this will have to do for now alright so as you can see we get some sort of instruction printed on the packaging that how to plug it in or something so these two should be the satellites alright and okay some paperwork obviously in Japanese and, yeah. and yes the subwoofer okay so I'm going to take everything out of the plastic wrappings and set them up and maybe then we can continue this video with its review and sound test and everything all right okay guys after setting up everything it looks like this the two satellites the subwoofer and the controller is the things we get the controller is very useful because you can use this controller to turn off and on the speaker. There is also a output jack, audio output jack 3.5 millimeter. So you can just directly plug in your headset over here and the audio will be redirected. And of course on top you get the volume knob controller and you can set the volume. One thing to mention over here is that this controller thingy is very very lightweight. So if the wires are not uh, in a specific way so the weight of the wire lifts this controller off the desk so maybe I will have to use some something to stick it onto the surface or whatever just one thing to keep in mind okay other than that the aesthetics are pretty nice but of course it's completely uh, what can I say a bit a bit cheap plasticky <laughs> but that's expected it's a budget set of speakers after all but let's move on to the sound quality I will just do a demonstration of sound test but you know I am using a very normal recorder so maybe you will not get the true experience of music coming out from these speakers but of course I will use the bass controller to check the output so hopefully you, will, you guys will get an idea Alright, maybe around 50% volume, I will play some music.
okay I think that should be about it for the sound test well for me I think the output is pretty good because uh, it's definitely an improvement from the built-in stereo speakers of my laptop and I think the bass output is also pretty nice I, I really like the sound signature of these speakers but that's expected from Logitech they usually make very very good speakers and other peripherals so if if you are a student living in a dormitory and don't have much money to spend on speakers you can opt for these ones Logitech or should I say uh, Logicool has you covered so Logitech Z 213 is a good budget stereo speakers I think I can recommend you guys to buy it if, if that that's your only option you can go for higher options as well but yes it, it, it gets a thumbs up from me alright I think that's about it thank you guys for watching see you next time